Hi, I'm Vanessa Youngblood, and I am doing a vlog today on cardiovascular muscular endurance. The reason I chose this um, article is because this comes very close to home for me. I endured on June 25th a heart disease called non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. Um, it was actually due to some type of viral, we're not really sure which one it was, so there's so many viruses, but because my weight was, I was overweight and my eating habits were not great, this also could have caused my heart to get to a place to where it was having a hard time pumping. Um, my EF was at 25 when I went in. They were think thinking about putting in a um, defibrillator. But with exercise and medicines and eating right at all times, my doctor told me that things could correct themselves. So guess what? I went from a 25 to a 63. So cardiovascular endurance for me is very important. Some of the things that the article talks about is exercise, aerobics, um, eating the right types of food, seeing your doctor, doing the things that you're supposed to do so that your health, your body health, is heart health is integral for, integral for the body. Some of the exercises that um, the article talks about is that builds, help to build your, build your cardiovascular endurance and helps to control several heart disease and risk factors, including high cholesterol, high blood pressure and, obese, and obesity, is jumping jacks, um, running in place, push-ups, calisthenics, and different types of exercise that you could really do at home. Um, the best way to build muscular endur endurance, according to the article, is through weight training exercises, such as push-ups and sit-ups, as I said before. A good program for building muscular endurance is to do this at least 30 minutes per session when building cardio endurance. It's, it's, it's important that you have a schedule that you, um, you know, have a daily schedule, write down, okay, well, I'm going to do it three times a week. Then I'm going to do it Monday at noon, Tuesday at noon, Friday at noon. You know, another thing um, that helps is to prepare your meals, prepare healthy meals, getting with the dietitian, and um, finding out what's best for the heart. Less salt. Um, I had to be careful to um, watch my intake of fluids. You know, because I was, I was, my heart was retaining a lot of fluid. So I had to really almost go through a whole new way of living. And I have had to continue this. And this is something that I want to do because I want to be a healthier person. Now I am very aware of my body. And, and when I'm, I'm um, maybe have eaten the wrong thing or have an exercise as I should have during the week, I can actually feel that. One of the reasons, the next question is, um, how would this information, how would I um, relate this to health and wellness and coaching? Um, I think how I would relate this is, you know, I think the client that I would be interested in or the client that would benefit the most from would be a client that has a made up mind, you know, that, that really wants to get their life together and want to live healthy and want to put the things together that needs to be so that not only can they live healthy for today, but for the rest of their lives, you know, make it part of your breathing, your eating, you know, this is something that I have to do if I want to have a healthy life. What are some scriptures that I think that would pertain to this? Um, one of the scriptures that came to mind was Jeremiah 30, 30 and 17. And it says, uh, excuse me, I lost my place. I, it says, I will restore you to health 
and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. I will, God will restore me to health and heal my wounds. He will, he's going to give me a new me, a new body. But in order for that to happen, I have to put in some action and I have to believe and have faith and have trust. And I know that anyone that I'm coaching, you know, that is going to be one of the things that I'm going to make very key that do you have a made up mind? Are you ready to do this? Are you ready to surrender? You know, God says surrender and I will. You know, I will, I will be there. I will be the God that turns things over. I will be the one that will help you through this. So I'm past my five minutes now, but um, hopefully, you know, you guys got something out of this and see you next vlog.